Welcome to another edition of NBL Champions Corner. When I'm teaching a Future Stars clinic, the first thing I ask kids is how do you go fast on a BMX track? The first answer I get is pedaling. And pedaling is a great skill to learn, and we'll talk more about that later. But more importantly, this is a BMX track. There's jumps on it, rollers on it, and you have to know the other P of BMX, and that's called pumping. Before we start pumping, I want to talk to you about what it is and the best way to visualize it. If I have a NASCAR and a monster truck, and I go to a NASCAR track and I race them, the NASCAR is going to win. It's low to the ground. It's built for speed. Now, if I'm on a BMX track and I put that race car and that monster truck on a starting hill and I race them, the monster truck's going to win. And it's going to win because it's raised off the ground, it has big tires, and most importantly, it has shocks. Unlike a monster truck, a BMX bike does not have built-in shocks. Our shocks are our arms and our legs. Your legs are the strongest part of your body, and if you use them properly, they're going to help you increase your speed even more. When you're going over a jump, do not forget to unweight your legs and pull your back end up over that roller, and as you go down the other side, take your legs and push them down and forward. The trickiest part about using your body in a rhythm section or through multiple doubles is as you go over the first part of the jump, your arms will start pushing down as your legs are finished pulling up. Right now, I'm coming through a rhythm section the wrong way. I'm bouncing around, my pedals are up and down, I'm trying to sneak in pedals, I'm catching some air, and what I'm not doing is being smooth and going fast. Josh is about to come through and he's going to show us without pedaling how to use his body to pick up speed and he might even jump at the end of this straightaway only using his skills. Notice how Josh comes through, he shifts his body weight from the front of his weight to the back of his bike as he speeds up. Never pedaling, Josh was able to double-double out of that rhythm section. To best use your body to help you speed up, you want to remember the number one rule of BMX, and that is your body should always go in the same direction of the jump. For instance, right now if I'm going forward, my front wheel is moving up the front side of this roller. My shoulders, my arms should be moving up, and my arms should be pulling up into my body with my elbows bending out. Once my front wheel gets over the other side, it's going to be going down and forward. I want to drop my shoulders, push my arms down and forward, pushing the bike away from me to gain speed. My legs, just as important as my arms, and a whole lot stronger, need to do the same motion. As my rear wheel is coming up this roller, I'm going to pull my legs up into my body, and as my rear wheel starts going down the roller, I'm going to push down and forward with my legs, gaining a lot of speed. The trickiest part of pumping is when your bike is right in the middle of a roller, your front wheel's going down and your rear wheel's still coming up. You have to be able to push forward with your arms and pull up with your legs at the same time until your rear wheel gets over the top. If you're able to do that, then you've got rhythm. One of the best drills you can do that'll help you perfect pumping is called the pump lap. A pump lap is where you go around the entire track from the start to finish without ever pedaling, trying to increase your speed the whole time. If you're not able to do that, you can start by pedaling only down the starting hill and around the turns. The better you get, the less you need to pedal, eventually you're going to be able to pump the whole track. This is a drill that you should do weekly to help you increase your track speed.